Aloha, everyone. Hope you're having a great Super Bowl weekend. It's going to be Super Bowl Sunday when everybody gets this video, but overall, our market seems to be having the Super Bowl. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, very nice move on Friday. Another pocket pivot point signal for the DIA. You can see the SPY right here also had the same thing. The NASDAQ 100 QQQ, not the same similar pocket pivot point signal, but you can see the uptrends intact. And the IWM just worked off what looked like a very ugly setup overall. It basically, to me, with that island reversal, back of these three sessions right here, re-reversing that to the downside, and then the reversal that day intraday, it appeared that it was all for certain that we were going to probably eclipse the January 2017 lows. But the reversal on Friday saved the market, and overall the tape looks good. And what's funny is that I'm long the second most positions ever in 2007. Funny enough, 10 years ago, I had more long positions than I do now. However, this past week, I had fewer sell stops hit than at any point since November 8th. I believe that was the election day, November 8th. So the further that we've gone along in this rally attempt, you'd think that with the market being so extended from the 200-day moving average, as you can see right here, I mean, that's a long, long, long ways down the 200-day moving average. You thought that I probably would have had more stops hit, but on Friday... There's only one end-of-day sell signal, and that's the immediate hedge signal in TVIX. I got in a hedge signal in TVIX on Thursday, Friday morning, got to fill at 5.13, and immediately cut my final, my final loss on an end-of-day basis of 5.11, but intraday only half. Now, let's say I have 100 shares. Now, I personally have 50 shares of TVIX left. I move below 5, I'll have 25, and I will do that till I have one share left of this hedge. Because the volatility hedge can really jump when it jumps. But with the rest of the hedges, when they fail, they fail. F, I, and Z, whenever this one hits below this low right here, I'll be gone to F, I, and Z. SRTY has worked the entire way. So once it hits new lows, let's say I have 100 shares, I will then have 50. And then if it makes new lows below that low a day, then I will have zero shares left. TVIX and UVXY are the only two that I do it the way I do. But besides that... No sell signals on end of day basis for long positions. And overall, this weekend, not much to do. Three decently quality long positions, but none of them are completely canceled quality and or perfect speculator scan quality. All of these longs that I'm going to bring up were in the price volume bop surge scan, and only one stock was confirmed in a side scan in that 60. So let's start it off with HCLP. HCLP, pocket pivot point signal on heavier volume with a small surge in bop to a higher green level right off the 50-day moving average and breaking out above the recent resistance. This is a nice long-term ascending base pattern, and if we go further back, this is a beautiful ascending base, ascending triangle pattern. If we can get a measured move again, which I don't think we can, but let's say we can get another measured move from April to the January highs, let's say we get half of that, you know, we're still looking at right around, you know, nearly about a 200% gain on the stock so I'll take that any day but even if I only get a 25% gain that'll be well worth it that still gives me over a four to one reward risk ratio with HCLP HCLP I will be using a limit order I'll be trying to go along with the limit order at 2055 my first cut loss level will be 1885 my final cut loss level will be a close below 1820 which I believe is all the way back here it'll be the low of this base yep so 1820 will be my final stop on HCLP then there's Russia not the country but the stock, Rush Enterprises. Rush Enterprises, you can see on a Zoom 3, very, very nice. Getting a little bit closer, though, on a Zoom 4 and a Zoom 5. Nice bounce off the 50-day moving average. Much heavier volume, and you can see BOP is increasing to a higher green level the past few sessions. Very, very nice overall ascending basing pattern again, ascending triangle pattern, but the bounce right off the 50-day moving average is really nice. I'll be trying to go long with the limit order at 33.22. First stop will be a move below 32.02, and my final stop will be a move below 31.69, the last pocket pivot point signal and green bop surge signal. So 31.69, 32.02 will be my two stops. And then the final long signal, ZIXI, Zixi, is bouncing off the 50-day moving average, producing a pocket pivot point signal. Now, there was a lot of nice green bop, and it moved nicely into the January 2017 highs. It maxed out. It's been trending lower, but this move on Friday 
with the volume and pocket pivot point signal surge came with a small BOP surge. So I'll go ahead and take that overall, even though the BOP isn't surging to a much higher level, still it's still surging from a previous level. And overall, it stayed green for over 20 days, making it part of the, it was in my green bot for 20 day scan so it confirmed its price volume bot surge scan move so Zixi, i'll be trying to get long this at 485 my first stop will be 478 but on this position since in my cash account i can't get fully i can't invest the full amount because i'm already fully invested so i have to split it up and my cash accounts now don't take limited partnerships so hclp won't be able to go in there so even getting rid of hclp russia and Zixi will be the only two of my cash accounts, and I still don't have enough to put 2% of my account capital into Zixi. So Zixi will get as much as I can in the cash account, and if that's the case, 471 will be my only stop there. But in the margin account that I operate, 471 will be my final stop, 478 will be my first stop. All right, everyone, enjoy your Super Bowl Sunday. Go Falcons, like I care.